Welcome guys to a brand new video on Black Clover Mobile. Now I got an exciting video for you guys because we got a lot of leaks, like a lot of information regarding banners that are coming out, when they're coming out and whatnot. This is extremely exciting. So I wanted to make this video to go over the main important leaks that were released that is regarding Black Asta. So Black Asta is actually coming very, very soon. Now do people have resources to do 200 summons? I don't think so however we, you guys actually maybe you guys do depending on how lucky you were with the Julius banner so the last banner we summoned on was on Julius but that banner was out like a while ago um, a lot of people should be skipping on the season 3 banner so all of you guys should be saving resources we got new events as well so that will give us free summons as well but I don't think I'm ha I have enough to do uh, one well 200 summons I, I think I can do 100 summons but not 200 summons so it is what it is but anyways hopefully you guys like this video stay tuned for more content content on black clover mobile if you guys don't want to miss out on future content on the game make sure you are subscribed and make sure that post notification is on so i'm going to be using information for bcm leaks however i'm also i also have information from a discord server which also has similar information so there is packs already shown for um asters uh, for asta so um, a lot of people were worried that asta is going to be like um so if you guys don't know in kr and jp the way banners work is you essentially can only do 200 summons for free in the kr and jp and then if you want to do more summons you have to use paid um tickets which was honestly stupid but hey it is what it is in that region that region is not really that profitable in terms of the amount of resources they are getting so yeah that, that's why they try to get as much money as possible but as you can see from here this is the packs that's going to be available you guys can go ahead and convert this amount to your own region i am not spending a dime in black clover mobile so i am i am good but anyways these are the packs available the second one is over here as well um this one it gives us 70 tickets and whatever okay there we go so if you go over further you can see a bunch more other leaks as well i'll make separate videos on that but our main focus is regarding asta so we do have information on when his banner is coming out i skipped it where is the information there we go so uh so as you can see season three season four season five special packs for asta um and there we go so this is it this is the information side so to sum up season four charmy and noel will be coming out on the 6th of february and then asta will be coming on the 12th of february all the way to the 26th wait a minute the banner duration is terrible as well it's like what 14 days or two weeks two weeks for this banner really they could have given us more time but what the hell i you know what i'm just gonna say this many times the banners are coming out at a very rapid pace guys so we are gonna catch up to kr and jp within months like within months in in um february we're gonna get black asta there's a bunch of other characters they can give us but i think we're gonna catch up in my in like march yeah in march i think we're gonna actually catch up in march or a, a little bit early in april so we are gonna catch up extremely fast so there are certain banners you just want to skip out on because in the future when we start merging with the kr and, J um, and jp with the timeline we are going to be having no information regarding the banners on what characters are good and whatnot so you need we need to have resources for whatever character comes out in the future that is not even available in kr and jp Mary leona's coming out but we don't know if she's that good right now we have to wait and see if she's actually good anyways um yeah asta's coming on the 12th of february all the way to the 26th uh solo pickup skill page as well as step up i think black asta is a character that gets stronger um as much well is dependent on dupe to be actually very very strong uh, with uh, what's his name with Julius I guess he was also dependent because you wanted to counter on the well but at the same time oh yeah and you also needed a skill page but Asta feels like much more needed so if I go over to here and we take a look at Asta this is their ranking so S plus uh, in PvE and PvP however one information one thing that you guys need to know this is only I think S plus and S plus in PV PvE and PvP is depending on whether you have the witch queen I think in which witch queen it becomes his, his best self literally without witch queen it, it's not like it's not like as broken as Julius and the world so it's kind of weird actually that they are going to release black Asta way before she comes out because honestly when he comes out you might feel like he's a little bit underpowered compared to the other dps we have in game like noel or julius um 
if you go over to Asta, if you want to understand why Asta is a character that is dependent on his uh, dupe, let me just quickly. So if I go over to here, we can take a look at his skills, rankings over there. So a skill one basically applies if if he has anti magic, he grants himself a plus eight increase in special points. And if anti magic is not present on self, inflicts block HP recovery, which is actually going to be good in PvP. Very good, even if you don't have anti magic. However, you need anti magic, I think, to fully utilize Astar. When he has anti magic, he becomes actually a beast. Um, increase special points, increase the special point that can be used for combination attack and special skill. That's actually pretty good, like, very, very strong, actually. Yeah, that basically gives you two ultimates, basically. You want anti magic, guys. Honestly, kind of a lie. Um, going over to skill two, it's an AOE, and um, if anti magic is present on self, attacks after dispelling barrier. Now, the reason why this is essentially amazing, once again, barrier is extremely toxic. The might the character that makes barrier extremely toxic, we don't currently have in game. Oh, well, currently we do have two barrier characters that are extremely toxic. Uh, we have we have uh, Radius. Where is Radius? Radius is green type, should be up here. There we go. We have Radius and we also have Noel, two toxic characters for with barriers. However, in the future, when we get a character like season six Charlotte, she becomes even more toxic with the barrier over here. So, a uh, combination of attacks creates a barrier that blocks a fixed amount of damage, and if with a passive as well. Um, every, every turn grants the ally with the highest all attack a barrier equals to 50% on own HP and then she also have this if all allies belong to the sense attribute at the beginning of the battle grants all allies 80% of own max HP as barrier and then uh, she yeah she's insanely in broken guys she's insanely broken and makes barrier extremely toxic and that is why with Asta he just basically wipes her because he's a, a red typing if he has anti magic and he removes the barrier that she provides the green team can essentially just die they they get smirked um so that's that's it but we don't even have her in game but currently we do have a really toxic meta with um radius um and noel however um wait right yeah however it's gonna be extremely hard for you guys to get the anti-magic um especially currently without witch queen so if anti-magic is not present on self grants all allies an increased defense of level three which is actually pretty good for pve and pvp as well but obviously i think okay yeah actually pv this is good mm, dispelling barrier isn't that going to be it's not going to be that useful in pve contents yet i don't think there's many characters with barriers um maybe some boss stages will have some barriers but this is not that great in pve uh it's where this shines really in pvp now with the second one over here this is great in both pve and pvp so i guess not having anti-magic will be better in pve content but yeah whatever Going over to special skill, if anti-magic is present, this is a single target, um, attacks after dispelling barrier. So, you know what it is? You, you basically want to remove barrier because once you remove the barrier, the damage you deal is going to be um, to the character and you should be able to one-shot or close to one-shotting. Um, but if the character has a barrier and you don't have anti-magic, this is basically what you get. Inflict taunts on an enemy for two turns this is not that great i ain't ever gonna lie this this ain't that great you definitely want anti-magic with his special skill and then you go over to his combination attack inflict stun on the enemy for one turn which is actually good it's a guaranteed stun and it does not it's not contingent on whether you have anti-magic now taking a look at how to get anti-magic upon gaining anti-magic inflict wait no no that's not it if hp is equal to lower than 40 percent applies anti-magic to self if hp is above 40 percent removes anti-magic anti-magic basically gives you 1500 defense and grants a 15 percent increased damage dealt and immunity to status element honestly he is an extremely extremely strong character however you need witch queen i can't i, I I'm, I know people don't like to hear this but i think with witch queen it becomes even better that anti-magic makes him 10 times not 10 times better but makes him really really shine especially if you want to use him in pvp and you want that dispel barrier and aoe dispel barrier you want witch cream is unless you, you want to risk it and get his hp down to below 40 percent but once it's 40 percent it just means like instant wipe you know what i mean um actually no before let's say it's like 50 percent uh, the character doesn't damage on you 
it's a good damage you die so essentially it's very risky unless you have witch queen so yeah i think astra is a character that many people will still want to summon for since he is a canon character everyone likes black astra but with the current situation we are in with the banners just not being um well not having um witch queen which she does give you um anti-magic basically if i scroll down sorry about that um where is she there she is so basically her special skill basically uh is it a special skill yeah there it is so it sets the hp of one ally with the highest defense to 30 percent of max hp now originally people were like why would you need that but then they released black and it made a complete sense so yeah uh, if you get a black Astar, you want to get Queen, Queen of Witch, Queen of Witches. Oh, let's go ahead and take a look at his skill page as well. Um, Astar skill page is there. Um, so if anti magic is present on self, grant a 10 to 20 percent increased damage delta self per 1,500 defense. Honestly, guys, I think his skill page is definitely something you want to get. Uh, especially where it's for a skill 2 which you got well assuming you have witch queen and you have anti-magic you're dispelling barrier but you're also going to be dealing damage to the character um let's see you basically that's all damage received is counted as blocked so that's actually extremely strong in my opinion but also the increase in damage as well from here that is actually very very strong so he's a character that once you dupe him up with his skill pages and get induced for him as well he just becomes extremely nutty but like i said a lot of people don't have resources to do that right now so most you can do is probably get one of his one copy of him one copy of his skill page and potentially use like universal dupes for him uh it is what it is don't forget to like and subscribe stay tuned for more content on black clover mobile wanted to talk about um astar black astar he is coming extremely soon save your resources be prepared it's been your boy ac gamer and i'm out